The Top 5 Worst Serial Killers 5. Yang Xinhai Xinhai was known as the monster killer, and for good reason. His plan of attack was to enter his victims' homes during the night and kill everyone inside with axes, shovels, and meat cleavers. His reason? Revenge on society, because his girlfriend broke up with him. He's quoted as saying, I don't care whether they deserve to live or not. It is not of my concern. I have no desire to be a part of society. He was executed by firing squad in 2004. 4. Pedro Rodriguez Filho Pedro Rodriguez Filho is a Brazilian serial killer. Arrested in 1973, he was later convicted in 2003 for murdering at least 71 people and sentenced to 128 years in prison. Although Brazilian law system prohibits anyone from spending more than 30 years behind bars. Committing his first murder at the age of 14, Filho began a series of burglaries and carried out a murdering spree against local drug dealers. By the age of 18 years old, he'd killed 10 people. Whilst imprisoned, he executed his own father, who was also serving time for murder. Remarkably, he went on to kill at least 47 inmates while imprisoned. His continued killings led to further convictions, increasing his sentence to 400 years. However, he was later released from prison in 2007 after serving 34 years, but was later re-arrested in 2011. 3. Daniel Camargo Barbosa Child murderer, believed to have possibly raped and killed over 150 victims, primarily young virgin girls, confessed to killing 72 victims and incarcerated with Pedro Alonso Lopez. He's believed to have been motivated to kill from his stepmother abusing him as a child. He strangled young girls in Colombia and was arrested, but he escaped from prison and he started killing in Ecuador. Rearrested in 1989, he was killed in jail. 2. Pedro Lopez Born in Colombia, he was the son of a politician and a prostitute, and showed signs of sexual deviancy by the age of 8. Lopez would go on to become known as the Monster of the Andes after admitting to the rape and murder of over 300 girls in Colombia, Ecuador, and Peru, and possibly other nearby countries. Of his Ecuadorian victims, he said, I like the girls in Ecuador. They're more gentle and trusting, more innocent. Lopez was declared insane and admitted to a psychiatric hospital, from which he was released in 1998. Today, his whereabouts remain unknown. 1. Luis Garavito Known as La Bestia, or The Beast, Garavito is the world's most extensive killer, having murdered upwards of as many as 300 victims. He preyed mostly on street children, none older than 16, over a period of five years. His method was to lure young boys with gifts or pocket change, taking them on long walks until they were very tired, after which he would torture, rape, and ultimately dismember them. He was apprehended in 1999, though he could potentially be eligible for early release based on good behavior, news that most Colombians didn't take lightly. Thanks for watching and hope you enjoyed. Check out one of these videos and don't forget to subscribe to support more videos.